What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a super, super exciting and casual video. I finally got my makeup vanity. You guys know I've been talking about this vanity for such a long time and I finally got it in. And I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. I am in no way bragging about this. I'm just super excited and I'm and I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. My boyfriend surprised me with this purchase and it was out of the blue. He had, we had ordered it on Thursday, came in the mail on Saturday. It came super quick and I didn't expect to be filming this video this fast. I'm just honestly super excited and grateful to be showing you guys how I'm gonna store my makeup in this brand new vanity. I'm just excited to be organizing with you guys. I know this video has been highly requested. Oh yeah, if you guys want to see how I organize my makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so here's an overview of my vanity. Or you can see the mess in the backs of my lights. I did get the Vanity Impression Slay Station. I got the tabletop and the five drawers with the clear top. And then I also got the Many impressions, um, I think it's called a Hollywood Premiere Pro Mirror. It has Bluetooth on the side and also has a switch right here to turn on the light. So I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys and that's what it looks like. And then it also dims as well. So I'll go ahead and dim it for you. So I think that is so cool. I'm so excited. And then the Bluetooth speakers are right here. And then we do have like a panel right here. So if you just press it, it turns on just like that. It has the temperature outside, the time and the date, and then the volume button. And this is just a time to change the volume and the songs, whatever you're doing. This is just to change the clock and the Bluetooth button. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And I do have the base on, but I do plan on mounting it on the wall behind it just so I have more space and I just feel like this is an eyesore so I just can't wait to get that up. And then here are the drawers. I did already line them. I didn't line the top ones, but I did line these. I got this liner at TG Maxx. I believe it was $9.99, so very inexpensive. So all of them are lined already. And there is five drawers, technically six with the tabletop. So I'm super excited. I will show you where I had my makeup in prior so you guys can get a general idea of, you know, how I had my makeup stored. But yeah, let's get started. I'm super excited. Okay, so now we're in the spare room. Sorry if my voice sounds a little muffled. But this is where we placed my old drawers for my makeup. This was a purchase I got a while back. I want to say it's like six years old or seven. And I just stored all my makeup in here. I still have everything in here because I just wanted to store, like organize everything with you guys. So my palette's in that drawer. And then all my makeup, like powders and everything are just thrown in here. They're not really organized. Do that with you guys. And then, and then I just have a random stuff in here so i just have my foundations right there cleaner disinfectant wipes and all that good stuff so now that i have my vanity i can go ahead and organize all that neatly and i'm just super excited if you guys are curious about this drawer um they're meant to be for like clothes i just used it as like a makeup store system i did get this at target i will try and find the picture and the price for it to pop it up right here for you guys so you guys can check it out if you guys are curious, if you guys are beginners. I definitely recommend that. It's just now I'm outgrowing it, so yeah. Now I'm just gonna bring all my palettes over to my beauty room and we'll go ahead and start organizing all my stuff. Okay, so this is all my eyeshadow palettes that I have so far. So I do have some of them in this. I will go ahead and show you guys. 
acrylic organizer that I ordered from Amazon a while back. Um, I don't know if it's still in stock. I'll go ahead and screenshot it for you guys and post the picture right here for you guys. I don't know if I'll be using this. I might if not, not everything fits in here. So I might just add it to like the bottom drawers and the bottom of the, the vanity. But we'll see. So my plan is to put all my palettes on the very top. At least try to. I do want to organize them from brands. And I just want to look pretty aesthetically pleasing. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and place all of my... Put a beauty palette in this cabinet right here to the so here's my beauty. I'm gonna move these over here. Here's my caramel brown obsessions palettes. And then here's my toffee brown palette and my chocolate brown palette. Hope you guys can see that. And then Let's see. Here's my Naughty Nude palette. Oops. And here's my all time favorite, which is the Mercury Retrograde. And then my New Nude palette. So I think what I'm going to do is just place all of them in this drawer right here. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to have that right there. Okay, now that I still have more space, I do want to add all my smaller palettes here as well. So I think I want to do my Artist Couture palettes. This is the Thero Bloom right here and then I'm going to add the Caliente palette right in this corner and then I'm going to add my Rare Beauty palettes right here I think I'm going to do that. I might change this up. So I'm going to leave that like that. Now we can go ahead and move to the next drawer. So this is the bigger drawer out of the three. This is the middle one. So I'm thinking about putting all my bigger palettes in this one. So I have my Morphe palettes. I have my 35S Sweet Oasis. I also have my Jaclyn Hill palettes. Volume 1 and 2. I think I'm just going to place those here. Just like that. I do have to clean them, so I might do that in another video. And then I do have my Tati Beauty Palette, Volume 1. I think I'm just going to put that one right there. I do have my Natasha Denona Circo Loco and Sunrise palettes. So I'm just gonna place those right there. And here's my Madison Beer Channel Surfing palette. So I think I'm gonna place that on top of the Jacqueline palette. Next up is my Supreme Nudes from Artist Couture. I'm just gonna place that on top of my Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. Okay, so. I decided to put my Naked Pots here as well, so I have my Honey all the rest. Okay, I think that's good for now. I might switch things up later, but we'll see. Now let's go ahead to the next drawer, which is the last tabletop drawer. So I think I'm going to put all of my ABH palettes here, so I have my Nervina. And then I have one Dose of Colors palette. And I definitely want to display these. I have my Marc Jacobs palette, the Extravaganza palette. And my Charlotte Tilbury.
these are the palettes that I have left. I have my Elf, Tanji Kissa, Richard Paradise, the new classics, and then I have all my ColourPop palettes here. My BH Avocado Toast, my Judas Place, my Too Faced Peach palette, my KKW, and my Wired palette. Uh, this Makeup Revolution palette, Reina del Caribe by Alamar Cosmetics. Next. So I think I might place all these palettes on the very bottom drawer down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and organize them down here. So I did go ahead and take you guys off the tripod just to give you guys a closer look. So I did end up using that acrylic organizer. Oops, I actually missed a spot back here, so. Okay, so that's fine. So I did end up using that acrylic organizer that I had in the beginning down in this drawer and everything seems like it fits pretty nicely. I like that I can see all my ColourPop shadows now because in the beginning they were just like all stacked up on top of each other. And then I just stacked the rest of my palettes back there. I do plan on getting more of those organizers. Like I said, I did get them on Amazon and just probably most likely just add them back to back and then probably get smaller ones to add in the corners. If anything, I'll probably just get little drawer organizers and put more palettes there in the future. So this drawer is done. Now this is how the tabletop looks like. So now I have my Huda Beauty palettes here, slash Rare Beauty and my Artist Couture. I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics Morphe palettes, Over Decay, Artist Couture, Natasha Denona, Tati, Dessel Colors, my Manager palette, my Makeup Amara quad, and my little Fancy Beauty quad. And then I have my all time favorite Charlotte Terry Bejeweled palette here, Marc Jacobs, Anastasia, Dose, and Makeup Amara. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add my powders. I think that's next. So I think I might add them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all those. So I did decide to bring out my disinfectant wipes just because all this stuff is so dusty. Well, not dusty, it's just full of powder and I really want to clean those off and I might as well um, clean off my palettes too by the end of this video. So I might end up doing that. So I'm thinking this drawer might be a little too small for like my powders. Oh, actually, they fit perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is add all my pressed and loose powders in this drawer. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab a wipe. Start cleaning off my powders. This is a bronzer, so I might keep this off at the side. 
Same with my cream bronzer. Here's my Maybelline Fit Me. Now I'm going to add all my loose powders. This is a little bigger, so I'm going to add this to the back of the drawer. So I love how this looks so far. I'm going to go ahead and close up this drawer. Oops. That drawer is complete. Now we have this one. Actually, you guys, I think I'm going to start off by adding okay so i have all right so now i have a clear idea of what i want to do so i'm going to take these out and what i'm going to do is go by the way i do my makeup so i feel like that makes the most sense to me i'm gonna add my primers to this drawer which they're all in this container mixed with a bunch of stuff. Alright, so I like this whole lot better. So I have my primer, my face primers, and I have my eyeshadow primers, glitter primers, and then I do have my brightening um, under eye here. And I feel like I have enough space to even add concealers, but we shall see. So let me go ahead and grab my concealers actually. So there are all my concealers. I think I'm gonna add them in this container right here which has setting sprays and the random tape in here and then also I forgot to mention this I actually got this organizer at TD Maxx and then I also got these at TD Maxx Actually, now I feel like I want to add these in here. Okay, perfect. Perfect, so that fits in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add my concealers to that one. Perfect, so I know this might not be the most aesthetically pleasing organizing video, but this is what makes sense to me and what I feel like will work best for me. All right, so now I know what I wanna do for the next drawer. I wanna go ahead and add my foundation on this drawer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if this fits in this drawer. I'm pretty sure it will. I had ordered this a while back on Amazon and I thought it was gonna fit in my old dresser but i didn't so i had them like this now i can have them like this so let's see if this fits oh perfect okay and then i do have another one right here so i'm hoping this also fits there we go so these i got off of amazon i don't know if i already said that but they came in a pack and these are meant for like spices, but I honestly really like the look of having them like just sitting upright and seeing the labels because then I know which foundations I have.
Okay, a little side note, I really love this foundation, but I haven't used it just because it is in my tan shade. So once I go ahead and start doing my self tanner, I'll be able to use this foundation. Now this is a mixing medium to make your foundations a little lighter. But I'm gonna go ahead and add this in the back. And then here is the KVD foundation balm that I really don't like, so I'm gonna add this in the back as well. I just keep it for reference. And then I already did use this foundation. I have a video on it. I still need to edit and upload it for you guys. I think this video might be up already, so I'll have that linked for you guys. And then, of course, my Real Beauty. Okay, I did forget to add my Dior concealer in this drawer. But look how beautiful this drawer looks, you guys. I'm so satisfied on how everything looks so far. I'm so happy. Now we have this drawer, which is a little bit deeper or taller i should say so this is the technically fourth drawer down now in this one i think i'm gonna go ahead and add my pressed powders loose powders bronzers and blessed bronzers duos stuff like that in this drawer right here All right, since I do have my bronzers, bronzers in here as well, I'm gonna go ahead and add my powder bronzer and my cream bronzer here. So I do have my Fenty Beauty Stick here too, and might as well just add it in this drawer as well. So we can go ahead and close this one up. And now we have this drawer. So I'm thinking I, actually I totally forgot about this bronzer my Jacqueline one. So I'm going to add this one here. Just saw it right now and I completely forgot about it. Okay, so now back to this drawer. So I think I'm going to do blush and highlights in this drawer. I think that would be a good idea to do. So again, I'm using that same acrylic organizers that I got on Amazon. They came in I believe a four pack at that tier. And on the next one, I think I'm gonna do highlighters. I'll go ahead and start by adding my blushes. So this is my cream rare beauty. Next I'm gonna do is add my loose highlighters probably to the back. And this one's too big, so I have to add it maybe to here in the corner. <gasps> Fit perfectly. Now I do have my bigger BH blush palettes, which I'm just gonna go ahead and add 
to the back. And I think that looks perfect. Okay, I totally forgot about my liquid blushes. So, so I think I'll add these right here. And with my liquid highlighter, I'm gonna add it right here. And that's it for this drawer. Okay, so this drawer is completely done. And then of course you guys know I organized my palettes, so my palettes are right here. Now it's time to go to the other side. I'll go ahead and switch you guys over. So now this is the very top of the drawer, or like the second drawer down from the tabletop. And I'm actually gonna use this organizer right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one off. And I think I'm gonna add these two right here instead. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna add all of my loose shadows. So there's my color pop. Glitter shadows are also gonna go here. My heavy glitter layers. And then I do have a Milk Cosmetics shadow stock. This is in the Hopeless Romantics. I believe this was like the Valentine's collection, like maybe two years ago. I'm gonna add this one in the back. And then I'm gonna add setting sprays right here. Now for this drawer, I did recently got this Simple Made Organizer at Teacher Max and this was literally $4.99. I think I'm going to change this up. I think I'm going to add my setting sprays in that drawer in the bottom. So I'm going to add them there. And then I'm going to add all my mascaras in this container. And then in this one, I'm gonna add all my brow gels, um, brow pencils, and this one right here. Okay, that's that drawer. And then, oh, actually, I keep forgetting. I have one more brow pencil there. I might add another organizer in the back, but I'm still not sure yet. And then this one, I think I'm going to add all my pencil liners and all that good stuff in this drawer right here. I'm still debating what I want to do with these drawers right here. I do have this acrylic container right here that has all my Lip glosses, look at lippies, um, some matte lipsticks, and then liquid liners here. I don't know what I want to do with these. I think, also I got this off of Amazon as well. I think I might add them here to this drawer. Surprisingly, they fit, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet, so you guys can't see, so I'm going to go ahead and move it to the other side. So, I don't know. I'm still debating it. So, I do need to go to the store and grab some more stuff, like more organizing and all that, and I'll come back on to finish up the video. 
Okay, so it's the next day and I am ready to finish this vanity. I'm gonna go ahead and organize my liquid lips. I do have three more organizers in here. I think I'm just gonna toss liquid lips in this little container right here. And then maybe in the future I'll get like an acrylic stand where they can all just sit up. But for now, I'm just gonna throw in this acrylic organizer. I did get this at Home Goods for $2.99. So I got three of them. I couldn't pass that up. I'm gonna go ahead and add the liquid lips here. So on my Jacqueline Hill. And then in the next one, I'm just gonna add my lip liners. So this is how this drawer looks like. I have my liquid lips here and then my lip liners and just an empty container just in case. And then my Mario lip palette right here. And of course, I'm gonna figure out, oh, well these belong over here. And then these. I can put all of my liquid liners. So I'm just going to add these to this container and bring this up up here. There we go. That looks better. So I have my pencil liners, my liquid liners, and then my setting sprays. Perfect. All right, so yesterday my mom came over and she got me an acrylic organizer. So I just switched everything over and now this is what my concealer and primer drawer looks like. All my concealers are right here. My primers right here and then Eyeshadow primers, glitter glue, brightening, under eye correctors, and then another primer and another primer. So I feel like that looks way better. Ooh, actually, I can probably add this to the mixing medium by Mario. And that is it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just decorate the countertop up here just because it's super bare and I want it to look nice. So I'll prop you up on my tripod and we can go ahead and do that. All right, so I didn't add much to the tabletop. I just wanted to add the picture frame and then this lipstick organizer, I got it at TG Maxx. They can also find it at Burlington. I saw it at Home Goods and there's another place I saw this at. But I absolutely love how good it looks. I do have all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks up here and then my KKW, Dose of Colors, Maybelline Lip Gloss, Dose of Colors, and my KKW Liquid, uh, Sorry, lip gloss is right here. I just like the aesthetic and the tone, so I just decided to leave them here because they look really nice. And then my of course body glow from Patrick Paul. I have to leave it here somewhere. This will probably change as well as time goes by, but so far I like how it looks. I don't want it to be too cluttered because I don't like clutter, so I like the way it looks. 
And then I did have like a jewelry organizer. I'll go ahead and show you. Sorry, this is my filming desk, so it looks like a mess. Um, I have this jewelry organizer and I wanted to place it there, but honestly, I didn't like the way it looked. It just looked too clunky, so I decided to leave it there. Yeah, this is what the vanity looks like. I'll go ahead and give you guys an overview on how everything looks. And then I just have an extra cabinet down there. And if you guys are wondering where my lashes are stored, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I actually have them in this cabinet right here. This is a Michael's cabinet. And don't make the mess, but I have my sunnies right here. And then I have all my lashes right here. So I think they're just going to be in this cabinet in the meantime. So yeah, this completes this tiny organizing video slash clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do want me to do more, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Please go ahead and leave me a like, comment below, and also subscribe before you leave. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!